hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Aiming to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year, or even more if we can. So analytics are saying quite a few guys are not subscribed that are watching my videos. So let's up those numbers. Enjoy the video. I'm about to film another uh, dump trailer video, and the uh, dump truck guys show up. Every time they show up, the old Wahlberg company there, they have a different dump truck. We've got Super 10s, we've got 10 wheel ones, the regulars, and end dumps. They got it all. But let's talk about these trailers. Back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick video talking about the old dump trailer versus the new one. This is going to be my last official run with this trailer in my possession. Now that I got a new one, this one's going to go to its new owner. And what I mean by that is going to the same owner. This was a partnership trailer. They're just going to buy out my half. Got this thing in 2015. It's been an outstanding purchase to have in the inventory of just we have a trailer for everything. And dump trailers, they sound good in theory. And then you get one and you take it from job to job to job because they're so freaking handy. But like I said, 2015 TNT trailer. It's got 7K axles, so it's 14K rated trailer, 14 foot deck. I'm going to go over a couple of things that I uh, don't like about it, things I like about it, and things that I changed when I got the new Diamond C. Because when we first got this thing, we took it to every job. I mean, it's got relatively low miles on it, but it's had a ton of loads went through this thing, but it's still in great shape. So I will say it's fared very well through everything I've thrown at it. Only thing we had to replace was a couple of hubcaps and uh, one battery went shot. I mean, in six years, or yeah, six years, that'll happen. But this is like the OG setup. I had 96 12 valve back in the day and I had this. This thing just tows so much better than 12 valve. The five speed versus this six speed. The common rails are just so much more efficient. So it'll be an end of an error to get rid of this. Did new floors in the house, so that's it was just easier to throw it all the little guy. I'm gonna fill this thing up with some more stuff, make one dump run tomorrow. And I'm going to drop it off for Andy so he can use it generously. He says we can still use it even though he's buying out our half. So, you got your standard little box in here. Putting a new controller on it. You got a little beat, beat. It's even got a little fob one. Same thing. And it's got your tether on there. Keep a solar panel on these things because they might sit for a minute. And, well, they'll die if you don't have a solar panel on them. Biggest thing I didn't like about this trailer is that right there is the floor height inside the box right here. I mean, that's freaking 30 something inches off the ground. So you got the floor height, you got a frame, you got a subframe, you got a main frame, or however that order goes. It's a triple decker frame. That is very, very um, excessive on adding frames on top of frames. Adds a lot of weight to that thing. Next thing is the axle placement. It's a little bit too far forward. They're a little too centered for my liking. It makes the trailer want to do a little teeter-totter action. And that gets, don't get me wrong, if you're hauling gravel, it's not that big a deal because most of the load is, you know, a little tongue weight and it rides great. But if you're hauling wheel tractors, skid steer, sometimes you can't quite get enough tongue weight, that comes into play and often are not tire machines. They feel like they're teeter-tottering a lot. But other than that, the full trailer, I mean, it's lasted five years and it still looks pretty dang good boxes on the or the doors on the back they're a little flimsy but they took it you got your standard barn doors open up the bottom you got your tailgate option another thing these things the tail lights they always drag so they're led red anyway it just breaks the reflective things off so when you turn the lights on like i do every time when i drive anything they shine red both sides <sighs> they just get broken off every trip so i just kind of stopped replacing them they're red anyway they get brighter when you hit the turn signal, brighter when you hit the brake light. Worked for me. Got your standard, uh, what do you call it, skid steer package in there. I don't like how it's not a door on here. It's just got a pin. Those things kind of get bent a little bit, but they've held in there. Hasn't been the worst trailer in the world. It's helped us so much over the years. But we'll talk about the new Diamond C. Why I went with some of the stuff that I went with. Standard upgrades, such as that trailer comes with 10-ply tires i upgraded those to 14 this one's a heavier duty trailer and you're thinking wow it's gonna weigh tons more well it is pretty heavy i mean it's got two ten thousand pound leopard axles torsion suspension oil bath this thing weighs eight thousand pounds that thing weighs 7500 pounds so just to let you know the difference you're thinking that weighs more than the big gooseneck but that thing weighs over 5,000 pounds because it's got the triple frame and everything. It just got a lot of, I mean, 
for their design, you need that extra stuff. But was it necessary if you went and engineered it? Probably not. So this thing doesn't relatively weigh too much more than that freaking unit, which I'm pretty impressed about the whole size of this thing. 18 foot box, went with that so I can haul 17 foot saw logs in it. That is uh, like an industry standard for one of the shorter ends. A lot of job cleanups will involve picking up 17s and versus before I couldn't haul 17s in the 14 footer and I couldn't haul a machine in that thing. So now I can put the mini in here, a 12, 13,000 pound excavator, haul it to a job, unload it, load up all the material, saw logs and stuff with the machine into the dump trailer and haul it off. I don't have to do a bunch of trailer shuffling. That is the main exact reason why I went with an 18 footer. It is, I mean, it, towing it doesn't really feel like it's that big a deal. 5500, it handles it no problem. But it is definitely a bigger dump trailer. Next thing is why I didn't go with the uh, telescoping cylinder. First foremost, I had great luck with that one. I've had 14,000 pounds on there by accident. I normally haul about 10 to 12. 14, definitely pushing it. It dumped it a little bit slow, but it dumped it. So I figured a scissor lift at this one, why wouldn't it have a trouble, you know? Uh, so that's why the telescoping thing, um, I wouldn't have seen the trailer yet because they're on back order for those cylinders because the demand is so high for them. And I ordered this trailer like nine months ago, so I didn't have any thoughts and concerns about the telescoping one other than it gets in the way a little bit and it pushes the length of the trailer ever so slightly. Little things, just like the deck height. That thing's a triple decker. This thing is, you know, engineered neck, engineered beam. This right here is where your money goes because that triple decker frame on the TNT trailer, granted, it has been proven to be very strong, but there is room for improvement, and this Diamond C had done just that. So you notice that lower frame rail, the nice engineered beam I was talking about, and then you see up in there on the dump box, the frame for it goes inside of the main frame so you don't have to stack the frame rails they go side by side works perfectly by doing that I'm gonna say they lowered their right height or the uh, deck height by at least six inches awesome idea very happy about that it has what's this one here got a 10 to a 12 and then it tapers down to an 8 so you still maintain a low profile trailer in this um, the height of the Height of the dump floor is actually lower with this trailer, even though it's a bigger unit and everything, than that one over there. This one's got tail lights that are recessed. They don't stick out, and they're in the rubber thing, so if they do get bumped, they'll get pushed back in. They won't break the lenses off. It's got barn door things over this. Barn door opens. Pull this pin here, and you can grab, grab, well, you can grab, and you can tailgate. Boom, boom. Definitely happy with this whole purchase right here, but we'll just do a little walk around. This one, like I said, that one's got 14 ply tires, 16 ply tires. Torsion axles, this thing handles great. This is basically a combination of the big trailer and the little buddy. It's got the same axles, same brakes and everything. They're electric brakes. Had good luck with those ones on it when I ordered the little buddy. They didn't have an option for the disc brakes yet for the smaller axles. So... Uh, I just went with the same ones on this one because I had great luck with those over there. Spare tire on this one, tucked in up there versus the old one. Didn't even come with a spare. I had to screw it to the side. Still not knocking that one. It's been an absolutely great trailer and I won't mind using it for anything in the near future. Upgraded to hydraulic jacks on this one so you don't have to... Main thing is... Sure, it doesn't take too long to just hand crank. But this is so much easier, especially with a bigger trailer hand cranking versus just hitting a button a lot less time involved you just hit this valve and it switches between the dump box and the hydraulic jacks big old toolbox right here which is something the other one doesn't have a lot of the space sure does get eaten up by all this but i'm not really going to be hauling too much stuff in this well, you know put some bungees in there plus it's a gooseneck it's got all that room up there i was going to get a 16 foot one of those, same thing, just 16 feet long in the heavier duty axles, and it was going to be bumper pull. But then I thought, well, that would be pretty much just getting the same thing I already have. I just wanted a 16 footer so it could distribute the load to the truck a little better. And then we started talking about it, talking to Jacob Diamond C. I ended up switching up the whole plan, texted, 
got everything lined up talked about this trailer this is exactly what i wanted right here 18 footer gooseneck up my payload a crap ton i can haul a 12 i can haul a little mini i can haul um 18,000 pounds i'm comfortable putting in this thing as far as um, gravel but i could put 20,000 pounds in there if i got you know a little bit on top of it but to think that's getting up there pretty good because that machine weighs 20,000 pounds i don't really want to put that in there but you think that's what that's what we got it for that's the ratings versus this little guy which you're only supposed to put you know maybe 10 but anyway those are some of the reasons why i went with this trailer it's got seven gauge box so that's where a lot of the weight is super super heavy duty might be a little bit overkill but in 20 years 30 years this trailer i guarantee you will still be going strong <sighs> well i don't know i don't really have too much more else to say about this old girl that's about it we'll see you guys in the next one like comment subscribe we'll see you on the next one let me know your input on the new dump trailer versus the old one gonna go ahead and get this thing filled up loaded up and on to the next one old son we'll see you guys hit that subscribe button we'll see you